about mowing and lawn care and to introduce you to the Web C20K. The Web C20K has uh, some brothers uh, that are 14 inches wide, 17 inches wide or this one 20 inches wide. We have a rope loss large grass box with this machine and it is a cylinder mower. So what a cylinder mower does is cuts like scissors and really treats the grass correctly when you're mowing rather than slashing it like a rotary mower does. The cylinder mower allows you to mow closely and it also gives you really great and strong striping that lasts the whole week. What I'm uniquely able to do with these three widths of machine from Webb is replace the cartridges so that I can do other lawn care treatments as well. So we have a great cylinder mower here and quite simply what I need to do is remove a few nuts and bolts but basically I'm able to withdraw this cylinder mowing cartridge like so and I'm able to cut the grass really beautifully leaving great stripes. So I cut some grass earlier and you can see I have a few piles that I'm going to be talking to you about but this is nice green growth which I've taken while I've been mowing so I've just emptied the grass box out there. If I want to mow finer, the machine comes as standard with a six bladed cylinder. If I want to mow finer, what I'm able to do is insert a cartridge which is able to mow much more finely. And as you can see standing on our cartridge stand here, this is a ten bladed cylinder. So I have many more blades on here, cutting more finely. And you can see in the same way as a six bladed cylinder does, it actually cuts between rotating blades and a fixed bottom blade. That's how you get that scissor cutting action. So I can simply insert this into the machine, like so, uh, put the guards back on, and I can adjust my height of cut because I would normally be mowing lower if I was using a 10 bladed cylinder, just by adjusting the height of cut on this little knob at the back. So you can see the second pile of grass that I've emptied here is a finer grass clipping of much shorter length than the original six bladed cylinder cut. So if I want to finish that it's more like a bowling green or a golf green then I would need to use a ten bladed cylinder instead of the standard six bladed cylinder that the machine comes with. So great lawns is not just about great grass cutting uh, uh, and that's exactly what this machine is but what I need to do is I need to do other things to the sward so that I invigorate it, I can remove dead material and allow the grass to grow more strongly next year. So during this season of growth what has happened is I've got a lot of dead material now at the bottom of the sward and the sward is starting to get a bit springy and I've also got moss appearing now in the lawn. Uh, that's fine but what I need to do now is I need to liven this lawn back up so it's ready to go next springtime. So let me show you some of the other cartridges we've developed here for the web machine. First in the lineup is the Verticut cartridge. So this drops in to the machine in exactly the same way as I've just shown you with the 10 bladed cylinder. And you can see these star shaped blades, they're powered in the same way that the cylinder is and as they rotate they cut into the sward. And what that does is remove dead material, it removes moss, uh, and it also cuts any horizontal growth as well and allows that to spring up as new plants. Uh, the other thing that it does is it stands up those thick grasses that lie flat and you can't get with a lawnmower. <clears throat> it makes those stand up so that I'm able to clip those and allow the finer grasses to be more competitive. So I've used this earlier and you can see now a slightly different material down here that I've emptied out of the grass box. You'll see it's, it's now a yellowy, more yellowy material and this now contains moss, rhizomes, dead material from the bottom of the sward. The next cartridge is a dethatcher cartridge. This cartridge is much more aggressive. You'll notice there are fewer blades and the blade spacing is wider. 
This means that this cartridge can go deeper without lifting the whole sword up and putting it into the grass box. Uh, and by doing that, it means that I can go deeper into the sward and I can also go into the soil as well to contribute towards aeration. Uh, this is powered in exactly the same way as the Verticut one is, uh, but like I say, is more aggressive. So this material here, you'll notice is darker. This is the grass box I emptied after using this cartridge. And you'll see there's more soil in this, and actually it will lift plants out and give the sward more space as well to grow and to allow new growth to come through. The next cartridge I'm going to show you is a grooming brush cartridge. So this drops into the machine in exactly the same way and this brush is rotating, collects material and puts it into the grass box. So you might use this for instance uh, after you've been scarifying. You don't necessarily need to use the grass box if you don't want to pick the material up immediately. You can leave it to dry out and then collect it with the grooming brush. It collects very, very cleanly, puts the material into the back of the grass box. Other things that I like to use the grooming brush for is uh, if I have a lot of worm cast on the lawn and I don't want those to go into my cylinder and blunt the blades. So I could use the brush cartridge just to brush those, collect or level out the, the little casts. I also like to use this in the summertime where I don't really want to stress the grass out by mowing it. Uh, it stayed short because it's dry, but I want to put the stripes back in before I've got an event at home. So I might use the brush which just brushes the grass upright and then the rear roller lays it down to give me really nice strong striping without me having to have moan and stress the, the grass plants out. The other thing I like to use this for is after using the verticut or the scarifier I might spread some grass seed on my lawn and without the grass box on I would use this brush and it just helps agitate the grass seed that I've spread on the surface and helps incorporate the seed into the slots so they've got a better chance for seed to soil contact and therefore germination and growth. The next cartridge is all about aeration. Your lawn can get compact over the year and hopefully you're using and enjoying your lawn all the way through the summer but the downside of that is you can compact the surface. So this cartridge is not a power driven cartridge, there's no sprocket drive on the end of this one. Uh, you insert this into the machine and then as you drive the machine forward the, the tines penetrate the ground, they're just driven like wheels. And these little sharp blades will then penetrate the sward and go into the soil and help introduce air into the sward. I like to use this because I can use it at any time uh, and it never leaves any sur surface damage at all. You can't even in fact tell that you've used it to the eye. But by introducing air into both the thatch layer and into the soil la layer and decompacting the surface just a little bit and often it really gives great benefits to the lawn over the year. So that's a quick introduction into the range of cartridges that you have for the, uh, for the web C. 14K, C17K and C20K. Thank you.